I'm just going to go through the 2008 question paper on the smoke detector and this is a half-life question. So common smoke detectors contain a small amount of radioactive isotope americium-241. Americium is an alpha emitter and decays with a half-life of 430 and decays with the half-life of 432 years and the alpha particles ionize the gases in the air between the two plates. Now one smoke detector has a radioactive source containing 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 3 grams of the isotope americium-241. Use the graph or other method to show how long it takes for 1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 grams of americium from the original radioactive source to decay and it repeats again it has a half-life of 432 years okay so this is how you do this question sorry my puppy is playing with something it's making such a big noise okay um so you're starting with 1.6 so i'm just going to plot so at time zero you've got 1.6 and then half of 1.6 is 0.8 so after 432 years you get 0.8 is somewhere here okay i'll just rub off i'll just rub off this bit okay and then half of 0.8, so after um, this is 0.4, and so 432 plus 432 years, so two half lives is 864. So after 864, you've only got half of that, so which is about approximately here. So these are, I plotted three points, and now I've got to join them all to get my decay curve. So I'm just going to, not perfect, but you kind of get the idea. Okay, so that's your DK curve. Right, so you started off with 1.6 and you want to lose 1 gram times 10 to the power of negative 3. Okay, so you've got remaining 0 0.6 times 10 to the power of negative 3 grams. So when do you have how long does it take so that the balance is just so much so this is another color so your 0 0.6 is over here right so you just go somewhere there and then drop it down just beyond the 600 mark okay so um it's about maybe i don't know 610 years so there's your answer so that's how you get this answer.